name on it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. No, I did it. <laughs> I, I, there are different experiences. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? You call it some weird shit, huh? Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Common sense when I'm in a half guard bottom position. I don't, especially if we're talking about catch wrestling rules, you guys, I don't want to be flat on my back. I'm going to get pinned. I want to stay on my side. So you guys like using the knee shield, that does make you a little bit more susceptible to leg locks, okay, but it does keep the person's weight off you. So you got you to gotta ask yourself if that's a battle that you want. Me personally, I got a little tender feet now, <laughs> so I prefer just to kind of trap the leg and let them bring their body weight onto me. Okay, now Nancy, I want you to just follow your natural progression. If, if I was on my side in the half guard bottom, what position would you take? All right, so she's wanting to come kind of put her pressure on my body and keep me on my side. That's wonderful. All right, now what would you do next, Nancy? What is, what's your common setup from here? Um, We're rolling live right now. What do you want to do? Trying to escape with the leg here. Okay, so she's thinking of passing, okay? Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Okay? But this is a position that I'm trying to address. Okay. Okay. So what I'm probably going to do is underhook the leg. So she comes in with some pressure. All of her pressure is on the top there. She's not addressing this arm at all. She's posted. I reach for the leg. I'm going to bring the leg as close to my chest as I can, you guys. And what I'm going to slowly try to make my way to is sliding to her ankle. And then I have a couple of options here. I can take her that way. I can take her that way. Or I could try to take her this way. Now, usually, I'll let the person dictate where, where we're going to go. So, for example, if Nancy does not take this leg over my head, then I'm probably just going to start driving this way, putting her under her butt. All right. Sometimes, though, people, especially if they're bendy, they'll start trying to do shit like this and bring their leg over, thinking they're going to knee slide out. I go just try to knee slide out this way if you can. And when they got good knees, that's what they do. Go and hop back. She did with her bad knee, you guys, so give her a round of applause. Okay. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> not if you're at the waste management open. <laughs> that place looks dope. I want to go to the next one. Okay. All right, so she steps over. So here's my, my natural progression. She has, I mean, maybe her arm can stop the, the, the sweep, but it's not too hard take her in that direction and then I'll, <laughs> all I'm going to do is sit up and then of course I have like a really gnarly electric chair and really in either scenario but she if I keep this arm trapped in my chest and my belly and I keep control of that other leg okay that's going to be a pretty bad night for her so we're just going to work on those two I'm not going to try to stand up and drive right now but we're going to go half guard apart she's just going to smash this forward on her side and we're just gonna scoop the leg, stretch them out, and then either roll them that way, or they step over and roll them this way. Now let's go back up. Now you will run into a third scenario, and this this isn't bad, but let's say I do catch the leg, and she decides she maybe she's a good wrestler. Instead of rolling to her back, she just wants to crawl and stay on her belly. Okay, that's okay too. I'm just gonna follow her, try to tr control that leg, and climb up her back. As she's trying to crawl away. Does that make sense? See. Right. Key thing, keep the leg, the knee, the shin, close to your core, close to your chest. Easy enough? And you're just hipping out to move them over. Yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah, the little hip scoop. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm glad you caught that. Yes and no. Like if I can remember to, absolutely. Pressure. I'm scooping. If she's driving into me, she's gonna force okay. me to roll, right? But if not, then I lift and scoop. Or if she steps over, then I just rock this way. And what did you call that uh, submission? Electric, Electric chair. Electric. Just, she, it. she called it Why did you <laughs> <laughs> She changed the name on it. <laughs> I did it. No, I did it. <laughs> I, 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 there are different experiences. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? You call it some weird shit, huh? 
No, he said I called it prom night. Prom night? <laughs> oh my, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> She's like, shh, shh. She's like, well, my prom night. <laughs> so I did that to baby daddy. <laughs> she did it to baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. I know, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's drill you guys. <laughs> He's pregnant. <laughs>